What is up guys, this is World of Gaming TV one and I'm back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial and this tutorial video is going to be showing you guys how to install downloaded maps onto your iDevice and this could work with the iPad, any iPad, any iPhone, and any iPod. So all you need is an iDevice and of course and a cable that connects to your computer. It could be the like the new cable, the lightning cable, or it could be the old cable, the 30 pin one. And that's basically all you need. So you also need a computer, so obviously you need a computer. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer or whatever you use to um, download or browse the internet, basically. And you want to go to Google.com. There it is. If you guys don't know how to spell it, then you just, it's right there on the screen. G-O-O-G-L-E. Google.com, Google and you want to type in iFunbox. Click search, and it's going to be the first search result. As you, as you guys can see right here, i um, dash iFunbox.com. So, yeah, you basically get to this website right here. And what this basically is, is just a app or file manager for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So once you're here, um, you want to click download if you're on Windows or Mac, if download if you're on Mac, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and download Windows because I'm using Windows right now. And this is a part where you'll see like iPhone box for Mac, iPhone box for Windows, file ex iFile Express for iPhone and for iPad. So from here, you just want to like, if you want to install this into your computer, you're going to need to download the .exe. Or if you want to just download the zip, what the zip is, it just has the iPhone box app, and you just unzip it, and you can just, and then you can just use it just like that without needing to install it. So I would suggest like zip if you're just gonna, you know, just if you don't want to install it, basically. So I'm gonna just go ahead and download zip. You want to click the one that has the new on it because you obviously want the latest one. So let's go ahead and download the zip one, and it's going to go ahead and start downloading right there. As you can see, iPhone box. 0.2.1.zip and it's about to finish downloading right here just need to let it finish right there and it's almost done zero seconds left all right there it is it's done now let me just go ahead and open the my downloads folder let me just refresh one time all right there you go all right so what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and right click and click extract here and just let it go ahead and extract and go ahead and open it and there it is so this is what you'll get if you download it the one that you don't need to install so the application you want to open is the one that says iPhone box. Don't open the one that says IFB um, underscore C O N N for connect or something. You want to open the one that says iPhone box. So let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, it opened right here. So right up here, you'll see that it's connecting to the device, obviously. And there is my device, David's iPad. I'm my iPad is obviously connected right here. So once it's connected, you want to go ahead and go to the iPhone box classic tab. And there's two ways you can get to the where you can view your maps you can either go to user applications and find minecraft pe from there and go ahead and documents games com that mojang and there you go you get your world now these are all my worlds i have right now i only have one world which is the let's play survival and that's the only world i have so what you want to do from here you want to go ahead and go back into the interwebs or the internet i call it interwebs because it's it's pretty cool so once again you want to go to google.com and go to go ahead and go to Minecraft forms or a website that obviously has maps for you to download and stuff like that. So you want to go to Minecraft forms and go to forms and go all the way down, not all the way down, just scroll down to you see Minecraft Pocket Edition and Minecraft P Mapping and Modding. Go ahead and click on that. Once you're here, go ahead and click on MCPE Maps, and um, you just want to right here here are all the maps. Just go ahead and find one that you like. Let's say uh, Skyblock Ultimate, Skyblock Survival Ultimate version 2.2. All right, so let's go ahead and download this one. Um, just want to like look over it and see if you like like it and stuff like that. Uh, screenshots, you can click them, and this map looks pretty cool, almost like Skyblock. So let's go ahead and click hide, and let's see where's the download button. You just want to look for a download button. Here it is, downloads. All right, you want to click downloads, and seems like this leads to another website. I'm just going to look for one that has Dropbox because that is obviously the like the fastest one that will be able to be downloaded. So let me just go ahead and look for one real quick. Q Block Survival, here we go. Version 2. All right. Let's go ahead and scroll down to find that download link. Here we got some pictures. They look pretty nice. All right, where's that download link? Uh, where's the download link? Where can I find that download link? All right, here it is. My bad. I accidentally scrolled way too down. All right, so downloads. Let's go ahead and click the Dropbox one and let's download that. All right, here we go. Click download, and it's gonna start downloading. There you go. I think it finished already. All right, let's go ahead and click. Let's go ahead and click this open. Pop this open once again, and let's go ahead and back 
back out to downloads and there it is Cubeblock survival version 3 and you can just open it and go ahead and click extract if you extract it and it only had and it only extracts these items don't forget to make a folder make a folder and then drag those items these items into that folder but this this map um, obviously has already a folder for us so I don't need to make a folder so once you get your folder basically you're gonna go ahead and go back to iPhone box and just set it out just right there for like in a corner or something and go ahead and drag that folder into your world's directory on your iPad or iPhone or iPod or whatever once that is done go ahead and right click the folder and click permissions it might take like a couple clicks or two clicks or something because it seems like it has a bug on it or something that doesn't want to open it up for me but I'm gonna go ahead and go to that second directory that I told you guys about so you go to var you go to mo mobile or you go to applications and you open up minecraft p from there and you go to worlds all right right click all right, it seems like it's gonna work now this directory works all the time for me I don't know why them the other one doesn't work but you click permissions and then this little menu pops up as you can as you guys can see right here now from here what you want to do is you right click on the folder and then click permissions or properties or something I forgot what it said but once you're here go ahead and uncheck these and make sure it is it looks like this these two are both mobile and make sure these the first one has all three of them like highlighted and stuff group read write world and read write once that is done go ahead and click ok go back in it highlight all your files go ahead and click permissions click it again all right now you might you might want to do the same for all of these make sure it's perfect just like that click ok and this makes sure that your map will load properly and not load just a random seed and I see this problem happen to a lot of people like they say they downloaded a map and the map ended up to be like just some random seed that wasn't even custom a map or something like that so this this just the permission setting permissions help just helps make sure your map actually shows up and stuff like that so once that's done you can go ahead and click ex exit on the iPhone box you're basically done with that and go ahead and go to your iDevice so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my iPad click start game and look for the world you obviously have installed on it so let's go ahead and open the world up as you can see it's loading and here we go you might have some lighting glitches um, I don't know why this happens but it's just it's just like lighting glitches all over the place it sometimes happens sometimes not but seems like it happened this time but they're pretty easy to fix you just place torches all over the place and that's basically it so as you can see I have the map all downloaded and I'm playing it already so which is which is great so yeah that's about it guys if you guys enjoyed this video please smash that like button really helps out a lot making these tutorials for you guys and stuff like that and subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you guys next video peace guys